in here I have no idea if this is a brickling corridor seems pretty full of stuff it's not a brickling corridor this is an eBay order that one looks pretty bad yeah that's some good stuff the pictures were pretty clear so I could see that stuff was damaged but it's still worth I don't remember what I paid for, I want to say around 50. I had a, had a lot of old stuff. Forestman Shield. That is not too good, but the Wolf Pack torso, but another one it's eh. I can still sell them, you know, people will buy them in that condition I guess sometimes, but it's gotta have good pictures. I don't think I've ever seen that Star Wars helmet different colors. Alright. Just kind of going through, taking all the bad stuff, getting rid of it, and then I found this, uh, here it is. This said here, this is the one that I ordered I needed. <laughs> That's hilarious. It was in here and it's actually really good compared to like tons of stuff. Half the stuff is bad, so. Pretty sure this is a gem. Fabulan Accordion. Doesn't say Lego on it, but it's definitely Lego. I haven't looked at the price yet, but the cheapest used is $3. So that tells me that's going to be pretty good. Blue. Almost 5 Not bad. Alright, so was this a good buy? <laughs> I don't know. You can't really see a lot of the damage on the figures, but there's a lot. And I guess, see, like that is pretty bad, you can tell. You can tell that's fake head right there. There's the accordion. You could not, I could not tell that those torsos were bad, which they were. And then, yeah, so I could see that that was okay, but yeah, these wolf pack ones, you can see, they're all there. It's all there. And then, so this is all the stuff I'm gonna throw out. And this is all the good stuff. And well, there's still some more bad stuff. It's not Lego and other random weird stuff. But there's good stuff in here. There's a definitely need those. I got two flutes. That accordion we talked about. There's a number of good shields. I said other plumes. There's actually like some smaller plumes. Um, and so I, I do have a complete Yoda, which is what I thought I would have. The torso is, is good and this head is good, which is a surprise <laughs> compared to everything else. So we got that. I'll be able to complete this Hagrid with a head I have. And yeah, it's not the greatest thing, but you know, not everything, not everything you find is great. It just happens like this. They got brown short legs, the old brown and the torso for the Ewok. I needed that. This is broken. So there's a lot of little pieces, and I uh, just got rid of all the junk, and I'll sort the rest of this later. Alright, time for the teardown. Yellow gets his bin. Black might need a couple. Old gray. Alright, we replaced the battery. And it is working. I'm going to set the crick in time to Michigan. That's where it's going next. Brick World, Michigan. Found some uh, grapes out here. This is, tree is loaded with them. My, it's so humid today that my lens is clogging up. Let's see if we can get up here. Oh, look who it is. He's, uh, he's getting some grapes, guys. Lots of grapes all over the place. I'm gonna have to find time to process some apples. This, this tree is never on the ground like this. We usually mow underneath it. <laughs> it is overloaded with apples. That one has a lot. That one has a lot. This one has a lot. We don't spray them or anything. We just get the good ones. Give the rest to the deer. 
and our tomatoes are coming along. We've already gotten a couple medium-sized bowls over the last two weeks, but the garden has overgrown. I'm not even gonna show you that. But there's gonna be a ton, ton of tomatoes. <laughs> this is a huge, huge plant there. Still haven't got any raspberries. And by the time they're ready, I'm sure the chickens will get them. It's fine with me. I'm gonna fence this off next year. But these are looking great, the blackberries. I've shown that before. Next year we'll have a couple buckets full. S small buckets. Pumpkins are turning orange, four of them here. There's three or four more in there somewhere. Ah, it's been rearranged since that big one we left. Those ones are too squished to fillet correctly, so there they be. Not too much there, but enough for about another month. Six weeks, maybe. All right, I was able to dethrone a bunch of cards and I got 12 packs of 50, there's 52. I used the, had my son use his counting skill. My younger one, help me out, have some fun. Working with dad is fun. Um, so I just made, and plastic, this kind of plastic, it has weight differences in it. So I I did it to 52 to make sure, and I counted, counted three of them and they're all right, so. Giving them 52 for the price of 50. A quick relist on eBay real quick and put these away. Boom, Saturday night. Did some clothes shopping for the kids. And found these. They only had two, I was gonna ask for that more, but nobody is selling these on Bricklink. Pretty sweet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or what I'll do with them, but they're awesome. We're out of eggs. Cannot make homemade mayo for chicken salad. Any eggs in there? She's about to lay one. Got one from a neighbor. Welcome to August 30th, the last Monday of August. And uh, we have 57 items on eBay to go. And on Bricklink, let's go to the paid. We have one unpaid, like 20 bucks. Uh, but this says 14 orders. And 298 lots. 1,400 items. So that'll take a bit. And then on Brickall, we have 10 orders. So that's... That's a very good uh, weekend. Not like last weekend, but still very good. I like it. All right, almost done with the eBay shipping issue. That you can see sports cards are still going very strong. I think there's five on the last batch, so that's uh, 15 total. Watched the Brick Slinger show last night. Uh, Ralph Brooks was on there, and Easy Clicky Bricks. So it's pretty. I watched maybe. 45 minutes I could catch here and there and he did mention uh, Nate mentioned he had a first bad negative feedback and what I I like to look at that because it's public when you post post feedback and this is a seller look at how many feedbacks they've had so when I checked it I'm already on my block list some people cannot understand I mean it's a seller buying from another seller and it doesn't make sense why they would do that. I'm sure he didn't. The way he explained it, yeah, he said he offered a coupon without asking. He said he offered a coupon and refunded. It's just ridiculous that someone would do that, leave that feedback for that situation. It's a seller. I'm not an, an ununderstanding seller. So then that's why they have this feedback for themselves. Oh, it gets even better. So I was just like, well, what kind of complaints did he get? This is um, somebody that actually blocked me <laughs> for some reason. Don't know why. This has left 270 negative feedbacks. His personality is toxic. That is insane that this seller would leave. And you can see it. You just go to um, show me feedback they left for others. He's posted 278 complaints. It's crazy.
This is my reasoning I had in there. Big seller that leaves negative feedback for other sellers. And then I put the other seller, he left it for the poor boy bricks seller. So, yeah, that's enough of that. I don't know what happened with these guys, but I didn't sell them for months. And then this weekend I sold every one I had three different orders, I just sold eight of them. These ghosts from the haunted mansion. No. Alright, 7.23 a.m. Last brick out order is pulled. Time to do the 300 lots on Bricklink. Uploading those power miners certainly paid off. I bought six Atlantis. I don't have any of those left or any of these left, I don't think. But they bought out all the ones that I had. These ones, so. Gotta upload more. This order has a note that I get quite a bit. Don't know if they're off the channel or not, but I believe it's because you get free shipping. Who doesn't love free shipping? See how quick this is. I don't know what sticker sheet that it is. Oh, I know we're on the wrong page. <laughs> There's one of those. And then it's yellow. One of the Jeep ones. And then five of that one looks like it. that's this one. This one was popular right away. That's all five I should have. Two, three, four, five, yep. And then here's one. <laughs> of my old setup uh, in drawer number 23, which used to be funny the brick arena I saw I started a vlog. And he has all the stickers like this, but even worse, like way worse. So that one's right on the top, so that one's nice. <laughs> Mine was way worse than this. It was pretty much full and I had to start a new drawer. And it was terrible pulling stickers, so get those organized. All right, this is the second to last order I actually skipped ahead to the last order here and I have a 104 lot order left so I'm gonna take a quick break I'll go outside for a minute and then we'll finish up all right so here's the order it's 107 lots 531 items or wait 531 something on there so this is like pretty much exactly five items per lot so we should be at about 300 lots per hour so it should take me a third of an hour just over a third of an hour so it's at 20, let's say 21 minutes. Um, so we're gonna do this. That's a lot on the first one. See so that it's like two, 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 and then 12, two. So um, I'm gonna time it out. See, and so let's go start. This is drawer number three. Let's count. All right, last part is a used item on seven. 34, which is going to be over here. This, this uh, Technic axle. And so there's only one used part of the other. And wow, faster than. Wow. Faster than I expected. I kind of got log jammed here because I had so many of the same color parts. I don't like to put too many of the same color parts in the same bag. So. Uh, obviously this one is going to go somewhere, we'll put it with these ones, and these ones probably can be consolidated, we'll put them in there, so, 107 lots, 531 items, 16 minutes, 31 seconds, how, oh. I gotta do math on the computer again, so I was pulling at 6.48 lots per minute, and then it times that by 60 minutes, so hourly that's what that one was at. So maybe for five lots per item, 300 is a little low. But you're gonna run into snags here and there, so there's gotta be a, I don't know, what do they call that, a plus or minus, whatever. 300 is a good number. A viewer of the channel bought three of these figures from the Modern House that I parted out, and I only sent them one. So I thought it does happen. That's most common with it with minifigs for me, it's like, I think I see a minifig on the screen, I grab one, and sometimes I skip over quantity, so either way, I'm getting sent out today. Alright Lloyd, get over here. There we go. I had to reach across the long table. 
So I'm about to take a, a half hour breakfast here and you're just going to get a view of what I'm going to do, to do on Monday. So um, I'm going to take care of this, finish those guys up. And then uh, first, the first thing I have to do is get to my desk and rebuild the cards that I have over there. There's not too many. There's probably 30 to 40, um, which, you know, it takes about two minutes a card or less. Um, at some, some of them are real quick. Um, and uh, these are four Brooklyn photos I have <laughs> um, to go through. I'll get those done as well. Do, I'll do the cards, do these orders, and then come over here and finish this stuff. And then hope I'm hoping someone will do this for me today. Got 11 of these. These these orders pain me. It's 140 bucks for basically just capes. They pain me to buy them, but all right. So I'm set up over here, going through the Bricklink orders, rebuilding this guy because I got some torsos, and then this drawer wouldn't come out. So this will be my first. Uh, what do you call it? Going down a wormhole job today because I'll build some for Brick Worlds. So I need a lot of stuff. All right, all those orders got me this, parting out this, and I added a couple other parts too. Obviously, I got quantities of some stuff and dump this out, and we'll see what we can do with some of this stuff real quick. All right, always good to have a numbers check Monday morning after the big wild storms and stuff. Um, there wasn't really a storm this weekend, but 319, 833. So, like I said before, the pick a brick cup cups that I got really helped boost it. So I would never probably go back below three hundred thousand again. Don't plan on doing too much of that in the future, but for now I did it, and uh, we keep going, keep adding, keep uploading. All right, so here's what we did. These are all the same torso, like up in this area. A single one of that one. A couple of those. But this guy actually was in there complete. Had a helmet on. And these are the two different heads in this gray color. And this is the silver droid. So I'm going to keep most of these parts or try to complete and add the head because I don't have heads. Add the head to the list. Got three different blue heads and one, two, three different blue torsos. This one needs to go away. It's missing all the shine on it and some accessories. So let's see what we can do. All right. Saving two of these, this is what's going back into the drawer. It's a lot better than it was for sure. Um, I'm going to list these on Bricklink. This is actually six different minifigures. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This one's like almost seven bucks, and these are five. And this one's about five, and these ones are like three to four. Well, I think that one's five with that armor. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. I, I need to put these in my brick world stuff, but I don't find these that this stuff I want to have there. Uh, so I gotta check these legs too. I think those are right. Anyway, they're all going on Bricklink, and these are going on Bricklink. It's fine. Keep on moving. Next wormhole. My hips drawer would barely even open and shut, so it's time to try to make up as many as I can here, and then I'm gonna list pieces for sale. And I, I mean, I sell them, it's rare, but they do sell. Um, so I might have already some of these in my store, but I'll drop, if I do, I'll drop those prices at least for some of those. Um, get some of this out of here, get these drawers cleaned up. So what's the best strategy for this? I'm not even gonna sort them as I go. I'm just, so I counted out 16 green hips. There was one green leg in here, so I just kept, whoop, the legs going this way. I just kept the green leg and kept two green hips in case I need them for something else. Probably won't ever need them because I have so many legs right now <laughs> that I'm sorting out and stuff. But anyway, they're there if I need them. Uh, I know where to go to find them. So I'm gonna list these right right away. I'm gonna just keep doing the hips right away, get those out of the way, and then I'll move on to the legs, whatever's left. Count those up. And it is as simple as looking up the word hips, and they come right up. And then my next thing I want to do is look down here to see what I actually have. You can click down here, view all colors, or click on my inventory here. And then I have it sorted by the condition. So according to this, I have used green already. I have 19 of them, so I'm gonna drop those by a penny. Drop up, move it up to 35, and drop these into drawer 143. Oh, this is a drawer with basically mostly hips in it. That's, I, do, I do do that if they're all the same part. Uh, and just different colors that are not that are easily identifiable. So I'm gonna leave that right there for now. Chances are I'll need it again. All right, I was able to complete all these legs from those uh, 
two different drawers. Got all the hips taken care of and I have the left legs here, the right legs here, and this is what they look like now that I'm keeping. And they will go, this one goes on this side. This one goes on this side. And I'll, I'll put away all the good legs that I made. Some of them are going to build a mini fixation are not perfect. That I wouldn't want to use uh, for listing stuff. So short legs. Yeah, I did start a new drawer here. But I've been moving stuff from this side over to all this. It's filling up nicely. I am starting to run out of room. I still have lots of pockets of areas. See, it's, it's hard because Star Wars, I mean, I have these big drawers that work nice for things and then I don't have any more because this is kind of big. The whole row empty there. Looks like I have four empty here. I have these empty here. This is again Star Wars is going up to here. Star Wars is a little bit strange because this is in the middle of Star Wars. Um, that shouldn't be in there, but this drawer doesn't need to be. As soon as I start clearing out some of these, because I need to build a lot of this stuff. Look at that. I need to order some blackheads, is what I need to do. Um, and things will start looking better, but it's getting there. Someday it'll be full, but then I talk about that. <laughs> this, these ones all used to be full now. Not sure why those are there. Um, get that out of there. Now I have quite a bit of empty space around here. All three of those are empty. All of those are empty. So we're getting there. It's filling out. Brick world bound. There's also three of the Chiefs so far. I've also had one more set of some of these guys in them, so there'll be more going in. All right, time is it, Lloyd? 1 p.m. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna take a lunch break, I guess. The day is flying by. Look at how beautiful this is. It's like, it's like new. Got a piece of tape under there. Probably from just my table. <laughs> Man, it's, all these parts are just beautiful. Just for the age. Look at these. These gotta be a premium price on here because you don't find them like this. So, awesome. Here we go. I use Wix.com for my website, edit site. Uh, I got a new um, a thing going on here. So I paid for my spot. Don't know, I haven't got confirmation that I'm actually going to be, it said the first one spot open. And uh, so I went ahead and paid for a spot. But again, I haven't gotten confirmation. That was about 24 hours ago when Sunday happened. So um, it's going to be awesome if, 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 if it comes true here. Brick World. Indianapolis. We are getting ready for Brick World a lot the next few weeks. We're going to need a lot of stuff. This set is going to be adding 91 new used lots. Actually, did I even do it right? I selected new, sorry. Let's go to used. 85 new used lots. All right, this is the set. I didn't use anything in that one, but for some of all of these, it doesn't end up being much. And the mini figs, I did put all of them on Bricklink because I don't, so don't, didn't want to deal with them. So my a roughly $30 investment will get us a hundred back. Yeah, I have a lot of unique stuff to my store. Win-win. All right, Monday's mail. Two Bricklink orders there. I'm gonna go to my desk and take care of those right now. Right, after I uh, do this, I, just check. I always have to check prices so I know what to, what to explain. <laughs> and this thing has some bulk in it. Some bulk stuff. It's not all Lego. I knew that when I bought it. Is that Lego? Well, that's a pretty cool vehicle. But there was some stuff put together, so I may leave it put together. <laughs> Obviously that's not. Someone might here might want that one. Well, anyway. So, oh yeah, they had parts to the mystery machine. Which... Don't know if it's all here or not. And this is what I came for. Whoa. So there was, oh, about 20 some Star Wars in there. And they all look pretty good. 
Mostly first order stuff. Newer, newer stuff. That one. And there's the condiment man. Um, so this is $110 total, the shipped cost. There's some, you know, Spongebob weird characters in there as well that are not Lego. Chewbacca. This guy. He's got his helmet somewhere. Or his hair or something. I saw it in the pictures. Um, so there's that order. That order. Which, not the greatest deal. But it's good. And this one was 75 and it is just a hodgepodge of stuff. It doesn't look like much, but there is a lot, a lot of stuff in there. Because it's mostly all taken apart. There's some vintage Star Wars. I can't remember if there was one really good one or a couple. I'm like, yeah, let's buy that. Um, oh, this is... I don't think I knew this was in here. Or I did, and that's why I bought it. Because that's, that's awesome. I love that. So there was a lot of vintage stuff. There's a whole pie and uh, palm tree that I just saw it in there with all the things. Maybe not the leaves, but all the connectors. So awesome stuff. Let's take care of the birth and quarters. Okay, this was in the bottom of the one with the cape. I guess I have to break it open. It's, it's like sealed shut. 100% real Lego parts. Hmm. Interesting. Should I open it? Should I open it? All right, we're gonna open this thing. What would be in here? I've never seen one of these, so I looked on eBay. There's none for sale. So I'm guessing that you get a certain figure in here, or something that maybe that might be for sale in there somewhere, or it's just all junk. One of the two. Light up your Lego world. The lucky finder of this golden ticket. Wow, in your wildest dreams you could not imagine. What? This is this is a five dollars off. It's not a golden ticket, folks. They got you to read it, so I give them that, but yeah, this is all junk. That head is pretty good. I mean, I guess it's not all junk. It looks like it's all new parts at least. You know, they look all shiny and stuff. Actually, I could use those legs. Um, I don't know. There's some there's some usable pieces here, but yeah, not very good. All right. So those orders. Well, this is the second order in the box. The other one wasn't much. Relisted all these, and my day is over. It's almost 3:30. Go ahead and do the post office and call it a day. Final day of August is here, folks. Here we go. <laughs> 27 items on eBay I have to ship out today. So we have eight Bricklink orders. And it's just 74 lots, which is easy. And Brickall is one item, one order. Should be quick and easy. Let's go. Sports cards keep on flying out the door. Not flying, but not listing them, so it's like a $90 order there. There it is. Everything. Alright, Brick Owl is quick. Four part order. And this is the first uh, Brick Link order, is one of these guys, so I spent that time. I built three of them, and I have parts to build more. It's like almost $8 for that guy. Nobody's really selling them, so that's why I built them. There's a nice Bricklink order. 60 swords and 30 of these I just put in the store. Alright, this order has a note. You are truly the best seller on Bricklink. Thank you, Derek. Awesome. Thank you as well. This is um, the 8th order in my, on my Bricklink store and they also order for my eBay store, so this is... It's great support. Thank you so much. We're gonna we're gonna try to pull this whole thing. Uh, there's some things I have to count, which I'll do off off camera. But for now, I just put these on yesterday. These three shields, and then bought all five of my thunder keepers that I put on here. Yes, I think it was yesterday. I put these on. I'm pretty sure. 
There we go. One, two, three, four, five of those. It goes in backwards so I know it's empty. And I have room. So 2096. I'll just leave the card over here. And I will just bring this full thing and set it there. 2318. It's going to be up here. It's another one I'll have to count. After I'm done filming here. And then 2617 is down here. Get a banner back there. And then 2770. I can get four of those. Pretty easy. Okay. There's the four right there. We'll just do that because I have to dump it with my hand. Don't go anywhere. I gotta, I gotta move down to my used section of parts. So we got the red halter top girl from uh, Paradisa. It's a beautiful condition. And 501. There it is. And then a robin, and that's it. So 629 is this robin. He does have some dirty cape, and it's, it's in there. Fraying, the cape is fraying some, and some dirty and dirty. Otherwise, it's in great shape. So. Yeah, some some figures you don't. I mean, you just list it that way, but the, everything else is in mint condition for use, basically. So, all right, let's count it out. It's an awesome order there. We bought some carpenters from uh, the UK from the hut. Says, You're always welcome. I trust you'll be using all these carpenters to help with your store expansion. It looks like you have a big job, so I'll add an extra one to give you a hand. Awesome. Um, Actually, they're for my figure for the conventions I'm going to, but yeah, they can def they're helping build it in that way. <laughs> so I need a lot of them. All right, I've been sorting for close to 12, 30 minutes now. I'm gonna take a run. I've cleared off this tray and that tray, and just filled them back up. They're already 20% full when I started, and got this one almost done again. And uh, so, a lot of stuff sorted. And I gotta start. I gotta. I gotta spend a couple days doing this because there's a lot of minifigs here. I don't really think I need to get any more. I have a lot more coming actually, so gotta get moving. The 45 pounds over here. It's getting down a tiny bit. And then from the same seller before I got that, I I bought eight pounds, and I, I just fill up the trays with that the, out of this just now because I'm like I gotta get some of this out of here. Maybe I'll work on that first and then go to the other stuff again. All right, 8, 17 a.m. Just got back, 7.50 a mile. The important thing is that uh, I got out and did it. Feels good. And um, so my goal right now is until 9 o'clock and I'll eat breakfast is I'm going to try to clear these two trays and two more. I'm just going to go for it because I rarely ever spend time doing this. I mean, usually in the weekend I'll do it for a half an hour here and there. But I really need to focus on this soon. We have the... Knights of Ren Transport said I'm hoping to get parted out, help two of my sons so they might help. I need their help, so. Um, I promised Citizen Brick it's Brickwood, Indianapolis, so that should motivate him enough. That well, was pretty quick for those two trays are gone. Let's fill them up one more time, or two. Here we go. Thank you.